You can see my TV inside. My computer is processing yesterday's video. Um, got home too late last night to do anything. So, it'll take a while before that's available for all to see. Porch looks pretty nice. Need to clean up out here now. All this junk leaning around. And uh, all the wood and scraps everywhere. A lot of stuff laying out here. I think the porch will be okay. I'm going to reinforce all the rafters. Um, probably pull out some more. There's some more pallets I can tear apart here for the. Uh, there's some good strong wood in some of these. I'll probably break that up and reinforce all the rafters. And uh, from some photos I was looking at online, I think it would look really cool with a couple cross pieces here and there. Um, sort of decorate it up a bit and also reinforce it. It's not shaking at all. The thing is solid and sturdy. But... Um, I want to do it more for appearances than anything, but I also think it'll help when I get those big strong gusts of wind. And I think I'm going to fill in, I think I'll zip this off and put a board across underneath this lip, partially for strength, but also to prevent the wind from ever getting under here and lifting that up. Because that's what's going to tear this apart, is if the wind ever gets underneath, and pulls up on that, it'll rip this to shreds. I'm also considering, I don't know if I need to or not, putting a beam across up here, all the way across on the front edge to keep that down so the wind will never rip that roof off. But um, I'm still trying to figure if that's necessary or not. I think it might be an added safety measure. But the other problem, if I do that, is it's going to catch dirt and filth and debris. So I don't know. I have to figure if I want to do that or not for sure. I was thinking about taking... I have a couple sheets of that black plastic material left and covering this ugliness with some of that black plastic. It might improve the looks of this. This barrel stove kit that I got it says it fits 30 or 50 gallon drums I happen to have a 30 gallon drum so now I'm thinking about it's really annoying that I pulled this little wood stove out of my camper I'm thinking about putting that back in the camper to use it for heating when I'm out there working and put the um, barrel stove in here to heat my RV and that I could stuff full of wood at night, turn a damper down low, and maybe burn through most of the night. Um, if I put some more there, blocks underneath the porch framing down underneath on the ground, then I can put some more, um, I can put cement blocks and concrete mass all the way around the inside of this room. And that'll help absorb heat and radiate it back throughout the night if the stove went out. So now I'm seriously considering putting the barrel stove in here. Really thinking a lot about that right now. So, um, I really like the idea of running hot water into the RV from the boiler of this. But that's a little complicated, and I had a lot of trouble with it last year. So now that I have the barrel stove, I'm really rethinking my plans. And um, I need to do it because it's cold at night. It's been cold at night for a month. Alright, at 7 o'clock the sun starts to come up over the horizon, at least at this time of year. When the trees have lost all the leaves, I'll have sun at sunrise. Um, right now it's 10 o'clock and the sun is just not having, has not even started to clear the trees. But some of it is peeking through and you can see it hitting from the top of the RV all the way down. So what I'm looking at right now is I'm checking the hours. 
of when the sun is going to come into here. Now, the coldest morning hours are the early morning hours, just before um, sunrise and just a little after. So I'm seeing that right now, if the trees were cleared off, I'd be getting sun about halfway up the uh, porch here at 10. So if this part was black, I'll still be getting some sunlight here. Now it's hard to tell here because the trees have, are blocking it totally. But I'm guessing that, see the sunlight is hitting up to that window there. Um, I'm guessing I'll get at least half the wall will be getting sunlight and up till 10. And um, the blackened roof certainly gets hot. Yesterday when I was working that was radiating the heat. So that is going to help. And then having the clear space here and the black wall right all up in here, when the sun shines down, it's going to radiate off that black and heat up this area nicely. So, I mean, I won't really be able to tell until the leaves are off the trees, but I'll be getting some morning heat for sure. And time will tell. Today is Project and Experiments Day at the Off-Grid RV site. And some of the projects I'm working on today, I have here a uh, little bit of biomass mixing up for a biomass briquette press, uh, which I made earlier, the briquette press, and I'm making the biomass briquettes. This will take a few days, so that video I'll do when it's all done and I make the briquettes. I just want to show you I'm working on that right now. I've cleaned up the whole yard in front of the porch and uh, I'm continuing to clean up a little bit. Um, out here in the meadow I've got my brand new shower hooked up. That's going to be a separate video on its own. I've got the propane tank out here and the shower hooked up and water pump and a battery box and that was a success. I have some um, beans drying in the sun. These were too far gone to eat normally so I'm just drying these in the sun on one of my plastic sheets and I'm going to take out the seeds inside and um, I can actually eat them later or use them for planting next year. Up here in the porch I'm working on the barrel stove kit today and uh, that also is going to be a separate video in itself so you guys can watch for that in its entirety I just wanted to give you an overview of what's going on over here today clean up all the little wood chips I've got a whole barrel or a whole bucket now full of um, wood scraps that I picked up from around the yard good for kindling and fire starting I just had a nice hot shower with my propane on demand water heater and it felt good. I used my framing here, the shower that the guys made for me in summer and um, the shower head that came with this Triton heater and uh, it works nice. The only thing is my water pump it's an old sure flow is very sporadic and um, it shoots out water in spurts so I'll have to get a different pump or um, have some kind of a setup to build up pressure but otherwise it's a nice shower it felt so good to have my own hot water my own hot water on demand in this meadow after having not having a shower of my own with hot running water since February I'm finally setting up the old camper as a workshop and electronics station again I've got an old uh, Coleman Powermate on recharge. This is one I had started to restore, but because I was living in here, I kept getting, I kept interrupting myself, I should say, and I never did finish anything. So finally, I've got my little Bedini going, and uh, hopefully soon I will do a Bedini motor uh, video for all to see how it works. And there's a little meter showing. The, status of the battery. 
me see, 12, 14, 16, yeah, it's just under 12 volts right now. I leave that on while I'm charging. Sort of organizing some storage compartments here. Got my old, uh, well, old now, I guess, Harbor Freight charge controller sitting here. Um, I don't think these batteries are that strong, really, because this was 12.9, and all I've had on was um, two LED lights. Uh, it's down to 12.7 already. So, I don't know if these batteries are all that strong, these old junkyard batteries. But I'll let them run this uh, Bedini charger overnight and see what happens. I might have to add some more solar panels. Well, evening at the off-grid homestead. I don't care what anybody says, but this is my home, and at least at night it's looking pretty. I like my lights, if you haven't noticed. I love my colored lights. I've got, uh, I just hung up some lanterns. These are miniature LED lanterns, color changing. I got them while in Michigan. They were on deep discount. Three of them. Different patterns. I wish I'd gotten that second pack as well. But I just hung them up and they are pretty. Color changing. And then my solar rope light. That's a Harbor Freight deal. The dollar store path lights, which actually don't get enough sunlight to even function over here. Uh, when the leaves fall off the trees, they will. But I think right now it's not looking too bad for a home. My little off-grid solar homestead. It's peaceful now.